NAMM 2012. We're here uh, with Rob Payton, uh, Rob Papen, and uh, he uh, makes some incredible uh, synthesizers uh, here. We've uh, reviewed last year Punch, and he also uh, is known for Predator, Blue, others that you've probably seen. But he's got something new out here that uh, not quite out yet, but he's uh, going to show it to us, and it's called Blade. Yeah, it's called Blade. It's going to be out at the end of uh, February, early March. It's uh, having a new concept because instead of using an oscillator, we use an armulator, which is on the left side, and the armulator has nine controls, and the nine controls changes the sound. So um, I take here one of the presets. And you can see the dots moving around. Well, with the harmulator, you make the waveform. But this waveform is uh, changed by using, for instance, the XY pad. So the XY pad has a vertical and horizontal uh, move. And by addressing these parameters and changing the harmulator, you can change dynamically the harmonic content of the waveform, what you can hear. Uh, this is more a spacey sound. As you can see, also three dots are moving, but each node has its own XY pad. So when first note, second note, third note. Well, and the movement is just simply recorded here. You press a record and you use the mouse or an, and keyboard and you make your own movement. And then record that. Yeah, you record it and you press play and you play the keyboard and then it plays this movement. And as you can see, it goes also back. You can loop it, be directional as well. And the nicest thing is that you also can sync it to your MIDI clock or to the music. So even if you have a drawing which is not fitting in the bar, it fits it in the, in the right proportion. So when I go more to the other preset, this is more synth sound we heard, but there's also more stuff. This, for instance, is a very complex sound. Yeah, for most people, they see only a lot of uh, knobs, dials or, at this moment. But essentially, it's very easy to control synthesizer. And even if, if this is too complex, we added the easy page. And the easy page changes the overall setting. So if you think, oh, OK, this is a nice sound, let's make another sound. Just simply use the easy uh, control. Suddenly, it's changed. So there's only a little amount of changes in this easy page. You can change totally and make a new sound. So it's not complex. And these easy page settings are always saved inside the preset. So if you rename the preset and save it, you have a brand new preset. Well, well this blade is great for dubstep. And the reason is because the XY pad can be tempo based. Let me show you one preset. Now I have a beat. Okay, what we did is that with the XY pad, it's a human input. That makes it great. Normally, if you make a wobble, they use an LFO. And of course, inside Blade, we also have an LFO, which is here, for making the regular wobbles. And also here, you can see that you can change all the parameters of the harmulator. But the fun part of Blade is that the XY pad, there you draw your own movement. And that's what you see here. When they put on the XY pad again, you can see that the movement It's tempo based because here we can sync it to one bar or anything else. And the fun part is also that we have here a speed control. And what I always like to use to change the speed of this uh, uh, XY pad is the pitch band. 
So the pitch band we don't use for the regular pitch banding, right. but this time I use the pitch band for changing the tempo of the XY pad. That's what's happening here. And that's cool if you connect that with the music. Well, when I change here the harmonator, I get totally different sounds. I mean, that's the fun part of the of the synthesizer. You don't have the regular waveforms. It it creates all new waveforms. Another cool thing. Um, there's also a built-in um, apparatus. And for instance, the velocity you can put also on here on the harmonator. So now it responds to the velocity of the apparatus and changes the sound. So in apparatus on board, we have modulation on board and also two FX. And the two FX are having all the uh, known um, FX plugins we have, like stereo delay, but also tape delay, uh, tape flanger, analog phaser. Can, can you show us a little bit about how you actually uh, can create your own waveform? Your own waveform, sure. Let's take just one of the um, initial presets. Well, this is a plain waveform now. And I can change any way from the bass, the range of the harmonics, and the symmetry, and then the timbre. And the timbre, as you can see, as you can hear, is a bit like an organ right now. But we have all kind of harmonic content here in the timbre type. This is a nice timbre, and what you can do with the timbre is also ripple, making ripples, also suppressing a certain range of harmonics, and this you, we can use here. And for this ripple, we can use also all kind of waveforms. For instance, the static waveform. You can change the balance between odd and even harmonics. Well, and in total we have so nine parameters, nine knobs here, up here, and then a few other settings which you can use to change the harmonic content of the waveform. Next to that we have spread function. So then you generate a multiple oscillator sound. And also we have a sub oscillator. If you go to the left, you have a sinus. If you go to the right, square waveform. So this is the harmonator, and these parameters are dynamically changed by the XY pad, or by velocity, or by the LFO, or the envelope. So you have a single kind of like oscillator. Yeah, it's okay. a single oscillator. Waveform, yeah. yeah. And but then, you get, through that spread, you can get the Yeah, the you big get the multiple, lusher. yeah, sure. Because when I pick one of the other presets, that's um, Angels at NAMM show. This preset uh, started here. And the fun part again, it goes to the easy page and just change here the harmonator. Get totally different sounds. So it's a pretty, it's a very, very deep synth, uh, but still very controllable and fun to use, especially for special moving synth sounds and, of course, dubstep and all contemporary music.
Well, once again, Rob Papin has made a synth that we can't wait to get our hands on, so I'm sure you guys too. Check it out. Uh, how much is it? Uh, it will, you have a price? Uh, will, we have one month of introduction price. will be $190. Uh, so for one month, and then will be $139. Wow. So that it's a very fair price, that, that as usual. Yeah. And uh, what about release date? Where do we look at? Uh, at the end of February, early March. Wow. So it's pretty, pretty ready. The only thing we are doing now is adding the bank manager where you control all the presets and banks and making the presets. That's what we are doing right now. So it's essentially finished. Excellent. Thank you so much. Appreciate Thank you. it. Thank you. Damn 2012. Bye, guys.